It's a drone swarm. We've got a drone swarm that navigates through a forest autonomously. We've talked a little bit before about drones navigating through a forest autonomously. Um, but it was one big drone, and it was going pretty fast, but it wasn't crazy. Well, this is pretty cool. Another group um, at, uh, I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong, uh, Zhejiang uh, University, something like that, in China, um, have developed a new method that reduces the size and hardware requirements so they don't have to be a big old drone. They can be these small little uh, little little drones you can put in a swarm. Flipping heck. There are 300 random drones. What are they? They're all staying in a grid. Oh, no. Now they're all messed up. They're 300 gram drones um, that all basically communicate to each other to help navigate through (gasps) uh, everything. They map out. You can see the map at the bottom there that they're drawing of uh, their flight path and what is obstructed. But they're all Um, sharing the information. So it's like, you know, like a fly with, you know, 27 eyes or whatever. Yeah, they're all processing on board as well to know where to go. So, so there's no external processing. There's no like central computer, right? And then this will be used for killing all humans, I assume, in the in the dystopian uh, Skynet sure. future. Yes, this okay. looks like the most thing we've seen. The closest thing we've seen to swarm of drones will come after you. <laughs> what is it really used? I mean, other than just being a, a project, I mean, it's used for mapping. I think yeah, search I think and rescue. Be, I think the goal will be similar things like that. I'm sure for search and rescue, this would be amazing. Instead of sending a bunch of people out in the woods to go look for people, yeah, no, you, know, you can just send a swarm of drones. Do we know the flight time <laughs> of these drones? I mean, I guess, uh, yeah, I guess it, you could minutes. just build a bigger one. Oh, well, that's pretty good. Yeah, currently, eleven minutes with their setup. So that's really cool. Navigating complex environments like that is one of the big challenges in autonomous flight. You know, autonomously flying through the sky to a waypoint is trivial. Uh, flying through like a city is more plausible, but is more difficult, but still plausible. And flying through something like, you know, the woods is just really, really challenging. Yeah. So yeah, we've also closer. got a link to the paper. Um, that's the other link we have in there, and they've got some more videos and more information about how the algorithms work and uh, how the you know, what they're choosing to do for their decisions and all that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in all that crazy stuff, um, yeah, they got tracking. They even got like breakdowns of, um, if you flip over to that and then scroll down real quick, uh, it's pretty cool. They've got a whole layout that shows the, um, the memory mapping and CPU mapping for all the work that happens on the drone. It's kind of neat. Uh, so here's the, is this what you're looking for? Here's the yeah, paper. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, if you scroll down just a little bit, uh, Keep on going. Okay. So here we've got the proposed aerial swarm. Uh huh. I think this is the cool thing that they're doing here. So basically, um, yeah, it's just a map of like how they're using all the memory on the drones, where the CPUs are allocated, and then yeah, what the kind of the map of the internals of the drone works out to. So pretty cool. I mean, they're using it in in uh, indoor environments as well, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. badass. I mean, that's badass. Uh, because you could you could go in and fly through an environment and uh, and then come out with a three D map of the environment. That's pretty badass. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people who would could think of some really uh, useful useful uses for that. Yeah, pretty neat mm-hmm. stuff. <laughs> yeah, Matt Snellbacher says, "Add a stun gun to that, and criminals will never escape again." <laughs> 